Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Happy Cloud Solutions. Today, we'll be looking at how to get started with Microsoft DevBox. This will include creating a Dev Center in Azure, creating projects, and managing role assignments, and even so much more. So, we're going to progress in this manner. We'll firstly create a Dev Center in Azure. Basically, a Dev Center provides a centralized place to manage a collection of projects, the configuration of available dev box images and sizes, and the networking settings to enable access to organizational resources. Then we'll move ahead and create dev box definitions. All right, so a dev box definition basically defines the VM image and the VM SKU, be it compute size, storage, stuff like that. So they are used in the creation of the dev boxes. So depending on the type of development project or developer profile, you can create multiple dev box definition. For example, some developers might need a specific developer tool, like a, spe a specific developer tool set, whereas others need a cloud workstation that has more compute resources. So you now determine, you know, what box, what dev box definition should you use for what. So Next, we'll go ahead and create the dev box pool. So basically, a dev box pool is a collection of dev boxes that have the same settings, such as the dev box definition and the network connection. Developers that have access to the project in Dev Center can then choose to create a dev box from a dev box, dev box pool. Next, we're going to look at providing access to the project. Firstly, a project enables you to manage team level settings. This includes providing access to, you know, the development teams so developers can create dev boxes. Each dev center needs at least one project. So before users can create dev boxes based on the dev box pools in a project, you must provide access for users through role assignments. So you can create users either, you can assign users either the Dev Center Dev Box User Role or Dev Center Project Admin Role. Okay. So now we'll also go ahead to, you know, create a network connection. So the configuring a network connection allows Dev Boxes to connect to the virtual networks in your environment and also determine the region in which the Dev Boxes are deployed. Then lastly, we'll head over to the Microsoft Developer Portal and create a dev box. So basically the dev box enables you to create cloud hosted developer workstation in a self-service way. You can create and manage dev boxes by using the developer portal. So like I said, you first of all have to be assigned a role to a project that contains the dev, the dev box pool in which you create a dev box for you to be able to now go into the developer portal and then create this dev box. But we're gonna see all that um, in some seconds as we begin the demonstration. We are going to begin by heading over to our Azure portal. And when you're in your Azure portal, on, from the search bar, just type Dev Center. Okay. And then select the resource when it comes up. So create a dev center. All right. Looks like my Azure portal is taking time to load today, but let's continue. I'm just gonna create a new resource group. Give it a name, tutorial, dev center. Leave it as Australia is. Next, you can put your tags if you want to. Review and create. All right. So we're just gonna wait for the Dev Center to be done creating, and then we'll jump in and create the next resource, which is going to be a project. Hello, viewers. My name is Kachi. This is a short break just to add and ask you to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This channel is used to bring educative videos that are relevant in the information technology world. 
We bring videos on web development, cloud computing, DevOps, and even artificial intelligence, AI. But the videos are not just limited to that. We also provide videos as they are relevant to the community. We ask that you support us through your likes and subscription. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you as part of our subscribers. So the Dev Center is done creating. We'll just go to the resource right now. Okay. So now the next thing we'll be creating is projects. We have no project here, so let's just click on create project. So select the Dev Center, the one we just created. I'm just gonna give them all similar names. Tutorial project. Description for tutorial. So next, this setting is used to restrict how many dev boxes each developer can create in a project. So if I select yes, then I'm gonna restrict and say, oh, developers can create only two or four or whatever. But I'm just gonna leave it as no. Next, we'll go to tags, put a tag as you please, select review plus create, and then create your project. Okay. We are also going to have to wait for that. So the project is done creating. Let's go to the resource. All right. So now we have our resource right here. The next thing that we're gonna create, and by the way, you see this, it says, the dev center that contains this project does not have a catalog assigned. Basically, we're gonna ignore this now because we're not creating a deployment environment in this tutorial. So this will affect what we're doing, all right? So the next thing we're going to do now is to create a dev box definition. So we're going to go to the dev center that we just created. Let me just type that. Okay. Select this one. So head over to DevBox Definitions and click on Create DevBox Definition. First thing you want to do is to give your definition a name. So I'm just going to give it this name. Select the image you want. I'm going to leave this image as it is. The image version, I'll choose the latest. Compute power, select how many cores um, and RAM that you want. Storage, select the amount of space you want. Then enable hibernation if you want to, just like your laptop when you want to hibernate when it's not being used, so is this um, option here. It enables Azure or Microsoft to sleep or hibernate your dev box when it's not being used. All right, so I'm just doing, I'm not gonna use that for now. And I'm gonna select create. All right, so we're going to wait for this to be done creating and then we'll come right back. So we see here that the dev box definition has created successfully with no errors. So before we go ahead and create the dev box pool, let us create a network connection. Okay. So let's just go to network connections. Select create. Then depending on what domain John type you want, you select it here. I'm just gonna choose the resource group and give it Select a virtual networking environment that you want your dev boxes to be connected to, and then select the subnet. Next, put the tags as you please, review and create. So we're just gonna give it time to be done deploying, and then we'll come back. So the network connection is done creating. If it goes to the resource, you basically see an overview of what we just created. But let's head over to the dev center, okay?
Go to the Dev Center. Select the one we just created. And then click on networking. Okay. And then click on add network connection. So remember we just created a network connection called tutorial network. So we're gonna go with that. Normally you wanna wait for this um, status to be done. So it's either it shows you a warning or it gives you a go ahead or a green tick. And you can just click on add. So most times you might experience this error, this one that says warning, and it's most likely because you're using your personal Azure environment and you do not have access or license to Intune. So the reason you need to throw that warning is because of the because you've not allowed you know the Windows enrollment via Intune. Okay, so if you're using your personal um, account, we just don't have that license. Don't fret. This is most likely the reason why. All right. So while that is happening, let's just go and create the dev box pool. And to do that, you go to your projects, click on project, click on dev box pool, create dev box pool. Give it a name, tutorial pool, the definition we just created, of course. You want to select the tutorial network. Okay, leave it this way, leave it this way. I, I confirm that my organization has Azure hybrid license. All right, create. So now we're gonna let this create and come back. Hello viewers, my name is Kachi. This is a short break just to add and ask you to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This channel is used to bring educative videos that are relevant in the information technology world. We bring videos on web development, cloud computing, DevOps, and even artificial intelligence, AI. But the videos are not just limited to that. We also provide videos as they are relevant to the community. We ask that you support us through your likes and subscription. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you as part of our subscribers. Our DevBox pool has created successfully. You can see here other resources that, we, that we've created are the definitions, the network connections, the dev center, and then the projects. So we just want to head over to project right now so we can assign roles. So when you go to project, click on IAM, click on add role assignment, and then search for dev center. You can select the dev box user role, click on next, follow the user, usual process, select members, and then pick a member of your team that you want to assign a role click next and then review plus assign. But I won't do that now because I already have like the rule assigned to the user that I want to use, okay? So the next step now will be going to the Microsoft DevBox portal. All right, so to access the portal, just go to devportal.microsoft.com and then you will be brought into this landing page, okay? We click on add a dev box. You see that it's it's referring to the project that you have access to. If you had access to other projects, you would then have to like select a project you want to, you know, create a dev box inside. So, but this user has access to just tutorial project, and this is dev box pool that we created. If you remember, so I'm just gonna give it a name. Okay, so it says here that. DevBox creation takes 25 minutes on average, but can take up to 65 minutes. We'll email you once the DevBox is ready. So are you ready for it? Let's click create. All right. 
So we are going to, you know, wait for the creation to be done. So this is basically it for today. We've successfully created a dev center, created projects in the dev center. We've created a network connection. We've created a dev box definition. And we also created dev box two. We also did role assignments. And now we have successfully, you know, began the creation of a dev box. Like Microsoft said, within 25 to 65 minutes, your dev box will be done creating and they will alert you via email. All right. Do you need assistance setting up your dev boxes? Well, we are just a click away. The link to contact us is shown on the screen right now, or you can also call us on 0370469734 or send us an email at info at happycloudsolutions.com. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let us continue to do what we do. Thank you for your love so far. See you next time.